Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're on Westland today. Um, today, I am going to get a little bit of some resources, and I'm just going to kind of show a little way, um, in case you haven't figured it out, um, but just a, a quick way to get resources, especially, well, actually you can do it for all resources, basically, um, without angering the bandits. Uh, so it allows you to at least build up your base or make your repairs without angering the bandits any further um, and kind of putting off their attack. Now, advantage, disadvantage to it, um, by doing it this way, you'll be able to get resources, you'll be able to upgrade your base, uh, your walls, and that kind of stuff, but you're not going to get a lot of resources to build uh, sandbags, traps, spikes, barbed wire, things like that. So it's kind of a drawback because the traps and all that stuff um, actually uses up durability on the axes or hatchets that the bandits use. So it's kind of a drawback. You can't build up too many, you know, base defenses, but you can work on work getting up your walls. So we're going to run over to the wood zone and basically to not anger the bandits means to not kill any of the, you know, any of the enemies. So to do so, basically it's just you skirt around the outside of the, uh, of the zone, right? And kind of, right, like here we get a whole bunch of wood and stuff, so gather all this there's not an enemy in sight so we're just going to clean this part really good and go from there and basically this works for oak if you go to the oak zone it works for um, aluminum it works for stone um, and you can actually get a pretty good decent amount of resources by doing this. We'll just feed my dude a little bit of jerky here because he's getting hungry. Um, and then, like I said, this way here, it kind of helps, all right? We avoid these guys over here. We'll come back, grab the rest of this. Uh, so we'll do a little bit here in the wood zone and then we'll run. Uh, this is kind of cutting it close. Oh, I need to find some stones because my ax broke. We'll pick up the wood logs on the way by. Keep an eye out for some stones. But base oh there we go. Now is my pickaxe gonna break? I think it might. Hopefully it doesn't. Come on. Ooh yay! Alright. Uh so let's craft. Hmm. Hold on. We don't have enough stone yet to make one of each. So we're going to have to... There we go. There's three more stone. That'll be four more. Perfect. Uh, let's craft up one of these. And one of these. Now, you, gotta, you, can, you can hit the auto button if you want. But you just have to be careful that your dude doesn't go running into enemies. And we'll take a look real quickly. Uh, I know we'll have to come back and do some of the stuff uh, that we left behind. But you, like I said, you can gather a fair bit amount of resources. Uh, well, we got somebody who's coming after us anyways. So that, we'll get a little bit of this. But at the same time, just keep going. Um, you're going to get a lot more wood than you will stone. So that you have to be, you know, be cognizant of that uh, you might have to do a little bit more stone runs than wood runs, uh, just because wood is more plentiful. And that will keep, ooh, I think we can get this one. And then obviously, if you can get some chests, um, I want those berries. Dang it, uh, a little too close. Oh well, it's gonna happen from time to time, but if you can do your best, 
Mm. <laughs> I'm not doing a great job of it here. But you can basically, you know, even if you have to kill a couple um, of these guys, it's not going to be enough to, you know, fill up that anger meter right off the go. So taking your time, avoiding the enemies, finding the stuff that you can get to without aggroing anybody. Kind of making your way around. Anything over here? No. So this is basically, you know, how I've been kind of working it. Ah, oh, I'm not paying attention here. Um, but basically how, I mean, look at all the wood that we can get from this. It's, uh, it's one of these things where you, if you take your time, you can kind of pick out stuff. You can't really go full auto mode because obviously your guy's going to run in. He's going to want to kill everybody. And if you start killing everybody, that's when you anger the bandits, obviously. Uh, so just being careful a little bit, doing it manually instead of uh, hitting the auto button. And then we'll quickly uh, craft another hatchet. So we can see here in a second that if we do this zone just a little bit, we're still going to get pretty decent amount of resources. And again, so you know, we killed four, four enemies. Not the greatest. Actually, we'll go get this while we're here. But instead of having to clear the zone, get all the resources, you kind of just do this. And you keep running back and forth. And what I do is once I've done this zone, so I've come all the way around to my horse, I'm not even going to bother. I mean, we could go try sneaking up into here seeing if there's anything and there's not much so we're gonna jump onto the horse and we're gonna run over to the stone plateau and do the exact same thing now this like I said can be done up here in the oak zone except you need your horse and you're going to need a lot of energy or a lot of oats to run between the oak zone and the uh, Indian tribe. And that's going to cost you, I think it's 34 or 36 to go to the rock plateau up here. But you can do that. Uh, the other day, I just basically went in, gathered some oak, walked over to the Indian tribe. Um, and the, or ran, sorry, and then would run back and then just let my energy re, uh, regain. And then I basically did that for like two days. I got like 80 oak logs. So I'm still processing some of that and working on the, the stone floors to be able to eventually get stone walls and make it a little bit harder. But this is the easiest way to get resources without angering your bandits and allowing you to get ahead of them in terms of your base upgrades defenses things of that nature my dude's thirsty so I guess we're using berries to uh, to, to fix that up so hopefully you guys are able to do the same thing it takes a little bit more time because uh, you know when you can walk into a zone clear it of all the enemies and just hit the auto button auto collect it goes a lot faster right now we're just running around manually hitting everything uh, I'm going from there but as you can see I'm getting a fair decent amount of resources I'm not angering oh <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not angering anybody And a lot of resources are available this way so for those that have um, you know low level bases low level players this is what I would suggest you do you do this for 
unfortunately a few weeks and you'll be able to at least build up um, level at least level two walls right and then when you if you don't have your horse work on getting that always go to the uh, to the attack train don't ever miss that if you're low level you have a great chance of getting your horse items and then the last thing that I would suggest other than just clearing this zone see oh we get a free chest right every once in a while you'll get a free chest I'm hoping to get uh, scrap metal and I get an empty chest Wow okay but as you can see we're gonna get you know a good bit of stones here Oop, we gotta finish it off and then I'm gonna head back to the base all right so that tool broke that's actually perfect timing let's grab this we'll grab this stone and then we'll head on out so what I want to show off is the last thing that you can do now it's too late for me Ooh, mm, interesting but not the purpose of today um, let's finish these off fend off some thirst and hunger so I was gonna say it's too late for me but if you were starting off and you have a small base I would recommend honeycombing your base so the outside of your base um, right you can or even just building off of you know whatever buildings you have is to honeycomb and what honeycomb is I will kind of demonstrate it with uh, this area here so we're gonna build some walls um, yeah do this and I want to put one door there and we'll do another door there and then we'll do doors inside so as we can see uh, that little section is going to take them a bunch of walls to get through from what I've seen so far the bandits each bandit only carries one hatchet either level one or level two they do have dynamite so they can't get into stone walls but again I think they only have one dynamite each so if you have a bunch of these honeycombs all around your base right if I were to build around my stone base and just honeycomb all that all the way around it would be difficult more difficult for them to get in and that um, is a lot easier to repair because it's only one st uh, one wood so that's uh, that's what I would recommend um, is building but again like I said too late for me I've got way too much uh, invested in my great wall so it's only a two level wall but eventually that'll be two steel walls right that they'll have to get through so in the meantime if you can honeycomb your base like this I would recommend that and then just doing what I just showed off you know to get wood stone like I said works with oak well I've got I've got uh, 60 oak left uh, so it takes some time but it, the resources can be gathered nice and easily uh, and you don't have to worry about making the bandits angry or the thugs angry anymore uh, while you're doing that so anyways those are, those are kind of my tips folks on on uh, preparing and upgrading without uh, worrying too much about the bandits um, and I've started doing that obviously the last time they attacked us uh, they they broke in I think it was a total of eight walls so they had all this entire section back here done and they broke in way over here um, and got into the chest in this room right here and stole 10 or 20 rope it wasn't a big loss but it could have been so consider honeycombs I know they're a pain in the butt too, you know, on your base to get around in. But if you at least do 
sort of an outside perimeter and do like three or four levels of just pure honeycombs before getting into your base, that's going to help a little bit. It'll definitely help a little bit in stopping um, the, the bandits. Uh, and then obviously just working on this, I've already started, excuse me, upgrading to some level four. I got a level four door, I got a level four wall, and I got four level four floor sections. So we're going to continue working on that nice and slowly. But uh, hopefully that information helps some of you out there um, against the thugs and bandits. So with that, folks, I'm going to wish you all a great rest of the day, morning or evening, wherever you are. Take care. Mm -hmm.